I'd like to talk to you for a minute about why Russia is going to win World War III in terms of Russia versus the United States. The United States has no hope of winning World War III. There's three basic reasons. There's a lot more than that, but I'll go over three reasons why I believe this way. Uh, first and foremost, Russia is against sodomy. Um, America is not. America is very pro-sodomite, especially with our military. And you can't be pro-sodomy and expect to win a war. It doesn't happen. Um, just from, I mean, not only from a Bible-believing standpoint, but even from a secular atheistic standpoint, people that don't recreate, or procreate, I should say, uh, can't win wars. Very simple. Um, there's never been a sodomite nation that's turned into great, the great empire or anything else because the people sterilize themselves through sodomy and the empire dies. Pretty simple to figure that one out. Number two, Russian men celebrate strength. Uh, American men celebrate laziness and perversion. Uh, the average of American man likes to sit around in front of a television and get drunk and watch a bunch of perverted acts on television. Um, I'm not saying that, that doesn't occur in Russia. There's probably some of that, but um, not on the level of America. America's uh, men are very lazy. Russian men are, are tough. They still, the vast majority of them know how to uh, survive out in the cold and whatever else. Um, you're not going to win a war against people that are tough like that. And uh, the third reason is, uh, let me get my little notes here. Uh, the third reason that America will not beat Russia is because of the national debt issue. Found this out not too long ago, did a little bit of research, I'll show it here on screen. The Russian national debt is $342.5 billion US dollars in November of 2022. That was the statistic. $342.5 billion. Uh, it's not even $1 trillion. Whereas America, according to the nationaldebtclock.org, uh, the debt for America is $31.5 trillion of total U.S. debt, or excuse me, of the national debt. Total U.S. debt is over $93 trillion. And we're somehow going to go to war with Russia. <laughs> I don't think so. America can't even beat third world countries anymore. Couldn't beat Afghanistan, can't beat Iraq. What are we going to do fighting a nation like Russia? It's not happening. Um, America stands no chance in a war with Russia, especially if China gets involved. Uh, there's definitely no chance then. But uh, Russia, Russia is going to clean the clock of America. I'll tell you that right now. Um, and I'm saying it just as a matter of, of uh, this is what the future is. Um, take it or leave it. I'm not anti-America. I'm what I'm saying is I'm just telling you the facts. And uh, the Bible also gives another uh, very compelling reason, and that is Russia is in end-time Bible prophecy. And uh, I'm going to be working on a study for the future. I don't know when it's going to be coming out because I want to do a lot of research on it. But it's going to be a study on Gog and Magog and how it works out in the Bible. Um, and how Russia is proven to be an end times superpower. So the Bible prophesies Russia's increase, and there's no Western superpower to fight against Gog and Magog. So there is no America in Bible prophecy. There's no great power from the West. America is dying as a nation. And uh, $31.5 trillion, and you look at that debt clock, and it's just, just going up all the time. They just America can't stop spending money. The American people are so horribly in debt, it's ridiculous, which will be the subject of my next video. But I uh, just wanted to put that thing out there. Like I said, I will be doing a study on the Gog and Magog and their part in Bible prophecy in the, in the future. Uh, so keep an eye out for that. And um, don't put your hope or your faith in the American military. It's a joke. Uh, and I say that to anybody who's in the military. You need to get out of it. And uh, any older viewers of mine that used to be in the military, you know that the modern military is not like the old military. And uh, for my older viewers, I'm 47 years old right now, and for those of you my age and older, uh, you know that this isn't America that we live in anymore. The America that we once knew is pretty much gone. And the only way to have the old America is to celebrate things and keep it in your own life, but the vast majority of the population of this country, 
they're not like the old Americans that we used to know. Everything has changed. So this nation, America's already gone. Okay? It's already gone. Um, and your hope is in Jesus Christ. Uh, your eternity is what you should be thinking about. Um, not hoping that we can bring America back to what it once was and things. America's never coming back. The infrastructure's too far gone. The economy's too far gone. This nation is finished. So will God use Russia or China? Which one of those nations will be the one that brings America down? That will be found out probably within the next year or two. We'll see. I don't know. They could hold it off for a little while longer, but I don't think it will be that long yet until America faces its demise like every great empire before it. Uh, the good news is, though, that you can be saved. So uh, watch our salvation message if you haven't seen it on the main channel page. Check that out. It's free. It won't cost you anything. Uh, thank you for watching.